What's going on guys? This is Mike with Chit Chat Gaming and now more recent Facebook posts of mine had a lot of people scratching their heads asking why? Why the heck is Mike looking for a CRT TV in 2018? So today I'm going to explain to you why and we're going to find out exactly the main reason that I'm searching for one of these old bad boys. So yes, it is 2018 and I posted on Facebook that I was in search of a CRTV. Um, for those of you who don't know what a CRTV is, if you're in your 30s like I am, most likely you had a few of these in your home. Um, tube TVs, box TVs, old TVs, whatever you want to call them, TVs that sit by the curb nowadays. Um, back in the day though, this is what we grew up with. I played my Nintendo, obviously the Atari. Played the Sega Genesis, Red Tail, all on one of these TVs. Now, I was looking for one more recently, mainly because of the fact that I've been getting back into retro collecting, as you may have been seeing from my post. Um, I recently picked up a PlayStation 1. I used to have, remember, I used to have all these back in the day, but unfortunately, I lost a lot of these consoles, so I really wanted to get back into it. So, I purchased a PlayStation 1 originally here. I most recently purchased a Sega, a Sega Genesis Model 2. I've always had a Sega Dreamcast and a Sega Saturn. So I went ahead and I wanted to play those games and relive them again. Now you can definitely hook these back up to you know, a modern HDTV because that's what we all have nowadays. We all have flat screen HDTVs. Um, I have a 4K one here for my more modern gaming like the Xbox One X and such. But I wanted to play these games and relive them again outside of an emulator or a ROM. So I went ahead and I, went, you know, I, I hooked these up to my HDTV and you're gonna get that one of course same result that we all get and that's a very very crappy looking blurry pixely you know just very very blurry to something you don't want to look at ugly screen now yes there is you know for like for the Sega Genesis there is some RGB um, HD retrovision make some cords for it we can actually if your TV is compatible these will definitely upscale it enough to make it look a little bit better on a modern TV through these awesome cables. I've seen footage of it and they look freaking fantastic. But for me, my, te my televisions are not compatible with that. And plus, once again though, I wanted to try something different. So with my Sega Saturn, they make VGA cords that you can actually purchase. Um, you know, you can get the VGA cord, the VGA box, and you can hook that up and get a little bit of a picture as well too. But once again, though, I wanted something better. So by the time I would have thrown all that money in, $59 for the HD Retrovision cord for the Sega Genesis. Plus, I wanted to use them on my PlayStation. I had to buy these separate adapters as well, too. And also, um, it's, a, you know, what, 30 bucks or like that for everything you're going to need for the VGA box and the cable as well, too. So by the time it was all said and done, I wanted to play these games back how I used to play on my old CRTV. So I posted I was looking for one. And my good friend Jay Cruz, who I used to do the show with, actually ended up hooking me up with this RCA True Flat 14 inch TV back here, the CRT TV. Now, the old Sega Genesis games and such, our Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, those all are in 240. So, you know, basically, your modern TVs nowadays won't go all the way down to that. Um, it will do its best to try to, you know, make it look good, but it won't go down to 240. So, you're not going to get that true picture that you're going to get from the CRTV. And of course, things like the Sega Dreamcast and the PlayStation, those are going to be in 480. So, once again, you're not going to get those experiences from an HDTV. Even if you use AV adapters and you actually plug it into an HD converter that's going to upscale it to 720 or 1080, you're still not going to get that awesome picture like you're going to get on one of these back here. So to answer the question that a lot of people were asking me, is it worth having a CRTV in your home in 2018? Yes and no. No, because a lot of people want to get rid of them because they don't want them around. I mean, it's hard to get rid of these things, number one, because they're so bulky, they're heavy, um, they're usually you know, awkward and such here. Luckily, I got a nice flat screen here, a nice flat screen one here. Again, it's 14 inches. What I was looking for, a smaller version of a, of a CRTV that's easy to carry around. It's not too bulky, but also they're unsafe to dispose of, of as well too, and you can't put them out for like trash pickup and such. So you actually have a hard time getting rid of these things. I got rid of them a long time ago, but once again, I'm looking for one here again, and I got it. So again, though, are they worth it? Yes, because the fact that you can play 
your old games true to how they're supposed to be played. Um, consoles like the Sega Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Atari, those are all supposed to be played on a, CR, a CRT television. Uh, once again though, you can play them on modern televisions, but you're not gonna get the same experience, in my personal opinion, that you're gonna get from playing on one of these here. So again, to answer that question, it's personal preference. A lot of people don't want, they want one of these hanging out in their houses. Some people still have them in their houses and still use them to this day, which is, which is awesome. But again, though, it's very, very uncommon and a lot of people don't want to deal with the hassle. For me, I didn't want to deal with it either. But once again, like I mentioned, I did indeed want to get that true CRTV, um, the CRTV um, look and everything to it and I feel like I got the nostalgia like I got back in the day when I was younger and such um, you know playing games all the time on Saturday nights eat pizza and playing the heck out of Sonic the Hedgehog uh, playing you know games like you know, Road Rash uh, NBA Jam on the Sega of course in the Dreamcast playing things like Street Fighter Third Strike Shenmue as well too um, a whole list of you know, Sonic Adventure of course on the PlayStation 1 games like Twisted Metal um, and all those great games as well too, Crash Bandicoot. So I wanted to play, play those in true form. I'm telling you right now, going back, I've been playing the heck out of my games on this little 14 inch TV over here. And I'm telling you right now, it's got a great, a great picture and it looks better than what I can ever imagine and what it looked like before back in the past. So I'm definitely 100% happy that I picked one of these up. Thanks again to my buddy Jay Cruz for hooking me up with this bad boy here because now I can play games you know, retro games and such like I used to play back in the day when I was a kid and relive that nostalgia and bring back those wonderful, wonderful CRT memories. So let me know in the comment section guys below if you guys still have one of these hanging out in your home if you prefer to play on a CR, CRT, T, uh, CRT T television. I'm so it's like a uh, twister here. Uh, CRT television, you know, a PMV or something like that, a monitor, or if you use the cables as well too to play on the HD TV, like the HD retrovision cables, or an upscale or something, VGA. Um, you know, let me know in the comment section below what you guys do, because I'm definitely 100% interested here. What your thoughts are on this as well too. So, once again, guys, this has been Mike with Chit Chat Gaming, and as always, happy gaming.